Hi guys, good day. Uh, so for this, this is the second um, video discussion we're going to have for the subject operations management. Um, this time we'll be talking about product and service design. So let's begin. Um, dun sa mga nakaraang, dun sa nakaraang video discussion natin, no? ang pinaka pinag-usapan natin dun is we try to understand the uh, concepts behind operations management. Ano nga ba yung uh, pinagkaiba ng mga products natin? So, we have goods and service. You also identified yung um, yung processes, no? yung meron tayong top-level management um, decisions and then may uh, rank and file and may support. You also try to identify the importance and roles of operations management or as an operations uh, manager. This time, we'll be talking about designing a product and service. Uh, so, syempre, no, operations management, um, yes, nasabi natin that it's, it's primarily talking about the process of transforming a raw material into something else, into an output. Uh, dun sa sinabi natin yun, there are many factors. No? Meron dung raw materials, meron transforming, and merong output. Ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin is yung last na, ano, last na um, component niya, which is output. So, we are trying to identify or we are trying to discuss designing your product and service. So, ano nga ba yung mga kailangan natin malaman? when designing our product or pag tayo ay plano natin gumawa or plano natin mag-design ng ating produkto. Ano yung mga kailangan natin uh, malaman? So, diretso tayo dito sa key questions. Um, nakalagay dito, no, from a buyer standpoint, most purchasing decisions entail two fundamental considerations, cost and quality performance. So, pag tayo, as consumers, we... Um, we, 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 ang pinaka-factor in talaga natin is kung magkano ba ang kailangan natin ilabas na pera at kung sulit ba. Kung magiging maganda ba ang quality or magiging maganda ba ang performance ng service doon sa binayaran natin pera. Let's say for example, kayo ay pupunta sa convenience store. Um, namimili kayo kung bibili ba kayo ng mamahaling iced coffee. Bawa, bibili ba kayo ng... Uh, UCC iced coffee or Starbucks na iced coffee or bibili na lang kayo ng uh, coffee ko, 3-in-1 uh, brown na nakabote. So, it's up to you. Um, depende nga dun sa dalawang factors na kinoconsider natin which is cost and quality performance. Pero, tayo as the organization, we also have our own standpoint. Mayroon din tayo mga key questions na kailangan sagutin o tiyatang sa sarili natin before we design our product and service. So, the first one being is, is there a demand for it? If you can remember, no, kung kayo ay, uh, if you can remember in your TOU 046 class or entrepreneurial entrepreneurship and tourism and hospitality, na lagi natin inaalam if it is a mark if if the market is growing or if it is a marketable product or industry same thing goes dito sa operations management isa rin yun sa mga tanong na kailangan natin sagutin meron bang demand or meron bang market as at least a growing market in in that specific uh, plan meron bang demand doon sa plan natin na yun next is can we do it or the manufacturer manufacturer Durability and serviceability. Same thing goes doon sa ating TOU 046 class, no? yung uh, technical side, kung feasible ba yung technical feasibility, kung naalala niya yun. No? Um, is your organization or is your company um, able to do or able to uh, deliver yung product or service na gusto nyo i-deliver in that specific market? or manufacture, but kung kaya mo bang ipigay yung gusto ng market mo. Next is what level of quality is appropriate. Like say, for example, customer expectations, competitor quality, fit with current offering. So dito naman, aside from, aside from, it's also like a bit knowing about your market. No? So aside from, no, aside from identifying if there is a demand, or meron bang growing market doon sa product na gusto mong ibigay or product or service na gusto mong ibigay, you also have to study about the market 
kung ano ba yung kanilang mga expectations. Ano ba yung mga nakikita mo around the vicinity na um, same pro- same products or competitors mo para nila sila serve sa kanila, paano nila uh, para nila um uh, paano, paano nila dine-deliver yung gusto ng mga customers nila. Like say for example, well, like tayo sa ating industry ng no? restaurants. Uh, let's let's go back doon sa Well, kasi meron akong entrep no? na TOS 046 class. And ang example ko dun is yung Wings. Wings Restaurant or SJC Wings, kung familiar kayo. Uh, dun sa nag-example ko. Hindi dun sa... Wala talaga, wala talaga SJC Wings. Pero yun, for example. Um, makikita nyo naman, di ba, dito sa ating ngayon sa Philippines, there's, there's many um, opening pop-up restaurants or small corners small small uh, hole in the wall businesses na nagbebenta ng mga wings o nagbebenta ng mga chick, fried chicken related products um so most of those pop up uh, restaurants they offer fried chicken quality pro- fried chicken related products into different um different designs ba? Diba? meron silang binebenta na boneless chicken na naka sandwich meron silang binebenta na boneless chicken with rice Meron silang binibenta na chicken wings, uh, many other stuff, and so on and so forth. So, it's basically uh, fried chicken lit- related products. So, that's one thing. Na may kita mo, okay, so meron akong ibig sabihin, um, there, there, I have a competitor like this, and it falls under this question. What level of quality is appropriate? Ano nga ba yung mga pwede pa natin ibigay? So, itong si, cost, itong si competitor natin, dito na ba tayo? Ito pala dapat naka-highlight. Ayan. Dito sa competitor natin, um, nag-offer sila na ganito, bakit natin i-offer iba naman? Like, say, for example, nakita natin nag-offer ng sandwiches or burgers. Why not let's try to offer something else? Like, fried chicken burrito or fried chicken quesadillas or um, Mexican style. And it, everything, no? It, it, that's one question. What level of quality is appropriate? So you look for customer expectations or knowing about your market, competitor quality, knowing about your competitors as well, as well and uh, fit with current offering or kung yun nga, if there's a growing um, demand for it. Lastly, does it make sense from an economic standpoint? So liability issues, ethical considerations, sustainability issues, costs, and profits. So more on sa financial and financing and financial feasibility side of the story. So bukod sa bukod sa ano, bukod sa entrepreneurship, iniisip mo rin pala yung mga bagay na yon dito sa operations management kasi it, it, it's both both uh, subjects naman is related into business. So ganun din doon sa entrepreneurship, the buyer you're trying to create your own business dito naman you're trying to create your process or your operation. And that's one thing as well. Na, natanong natin sa sarili natin. So, let's, next, let's go. Uh, reasons for product and service design or redesign. Primarily talaga, the main forces that initiate design or redesign are market opportunities and threats. Uh, ito talaga yung isa sa mga... Eh, well, actually, ito talaga. Yung, nag, yung madalas na nag-initiate ng design or redesign. Kasi, di ba lahat naman ng ating binibenta o lahat ng ating mga produkto, importante ang market natin. And dapat alam natin kung paano natin basahin. Alam natin kung paano tayo mag-go with the flow dun sa market opportunities and dun sa market natin. Para if, if, if in the future opportunities and uh, threats will be presented to us, alam natin kung paano tayo mag adapt by redesigning our designs. So aside from market opportunities and threats, there are also other factors that give in into uh, product changes or service changes. Like say, for example, um, economic factors, uh, low demand, excessive warranty claims, need to reduce cost, social and demographic, aging baby boomers, population shifts, so more on uh, some market side natin, political and liability or legal, government changes, safety issues, new regulations. So, ito nangyari dito sa Pilipinas. Um, nagkaroon ng napakalaking redesign sa mga uh, restaurants natin. If you if you were able to observe no, during the past few, during the start 
of the pandemic or during the start of ECQ way back March 2020 or April May 2020 pag kayo ay pumupunta sa mga um, different establishments different food and beverage establishments may kita nyo wala talagang dine in most of their dining areas were um were um redesigned into waiting areas para sa mga nag take out uh, and then meron ng mga take out uh, counters meron ng mga diretso para dun sa mga grab food or uh, or food panda deliveries so nagkaroon ng redesign and meron din di ba lumabas ang pop-up stores na walang tinatawag natin ghost kitchens ng tawag natin sa kanila wherein wala silang wala silang dine wala silang dining area uh, meron lang silang mga kitchen at ang pinaka so pinaka source of um orders nila is online and then dinideliver na lang sa mga bahay sa mga bahay-bahay most businesses marami nang start ng ganun so that's one thing talaga you know, one factor to consider when redesigning our products or services or the operation nga diba next is competitive new or change products or services new advert advertising and promotions like say for example diba alam ko na sabi ko na ata din sa inyo to mapapansin niyo pag si McDo naglabas ng something na bago si Jollibee agad-agad meron din siyang mailalabas na bago so there is a competition like say for example ngayon diba si Jollibee naglabas siya ng sweet and spicy fried chicken, fried sweet, sweet and spicy chicken joy. Si KFC naglabas din siya ng sarili niya. Parang Korean style din ata. Meron din ata sila ng garlic butter chicken lang din. So, so basta na start na rin sila mag-glaze ng mga chicken nila. So that's competition. Uh, let, that's competitive. So nagkaroon ng redesign. Yung nagkaroon ng redesign doon sa product naman this time. Yung KFC nag-offer sila ng mga glazes na rin para sa kanilang mga chicken. Next is cost or availability, raw materials, components, labor, water, energy. So, syempre, nakadepende rin siya dito kung ano yung uh, raw material na gagamitin mo, the components of your uh, design or the components of your product, labor, water, energy, and technological in product components or processes. Yung mga kailangan natin na mga tools and equipments para i-produce yung mga products na yan. So, minsan, magkakaroon ng uh, mag- magkakaroon ng mga a development technology na like say for example dati wala yung pag kayo ay uh, pag kayo ay maghiwa or magto-chop lang ng uh, bawang naka ano pa kayo naka uh, kutsilyo pero ngayon meron na yung mga home essentials na tools na pull and chop like parang ano lang siya para sa may blades tapos iha ihahatak mo lang hahatak-hatakin mo lang yung parang handle at automatic siyang iikot-ikot na automatically nakapag-chop ka na ng mas maraming uh, garlic. So that's one thing, technological um, advances. So it involves as well, it's a factor as well to consider in uh, redesigning your product or service. Uh, so let's move on to the main sources of design ideas. Um, na pag-usapan na natin dito muna is yung key questions and the factors to consider when redesigning. Pero ngayon, uh, saan tayo kukuha ng idea? Or ano yung parang pinakamayiging main sources of design ideas natin? Uh, bukod sa, yun nga no, yung mga factors na yun, paano natin, paano natin sila i-analyze? Ano, paano natin sila um pagsasama-samahin into an idea that we can con- that we can use for our products and services our design so the first one being is supply chain based ideas can come from anywhere in the supply chain such as customers uh or suppliers distributors employees maintenance so um if it's in supply chain based lahat ng ideas na possible nating incorporate for our design can come from those in our supply chain as well. And supply chain, kasama po dito talaga ang customers natin. Hindi lang, when we talk, when we talk about supply chain, hindi lang natin pinag-uusapan ng supply. Ang hindi lang natin pinag-uusapan ng uh, suppliers, distributors, uh, employees, and so on. We also talk about customers. So, dapat, um, we also try to get the voices of our customers by, uh, yun nga, no, by feedbacks, yan, uh, surveys, focus groups, complaints, and unsolicited suggestions. Dapat 
tinitake into consideration din natin yun. And aside from that, suppliers and distributors as well. Employees also have ideas. Um, so everything else na involved sa operation mo, dun ka kukuha ng idea. Sometimes, you can also use competitor base as your main source. So, pag-aaralan pag, uh, pag mo ngayon yung competition, tulad ng sabi natin kanina ito, um, dapat madali ka mag-adapt or magaling ka mag-adapt. Pag yung mga competitors mo naglabas ng ganitong klaseng idea, kailangan marunong ka. Marunong kang mag-adapt doon sa idea na yun at, kailang, at marunong kang gumawa ng something na much more much better doon sa idea na yun. Okay nga, ito, ito yung mga isa sa mga ways, no? Reverse engineering, dismantling and inspecting of a competitor's product to discover product improvements. So, like, say, for example, nakita mo, yun nga, si, let, si, ano, si KFC tsaka si Jollibee. Nakita ni KFC na, ah, okay. So, si Jollibee, si Jollibee pala naglabas ng, ano, ng sweet and spicy na chicken. And mukhang okay. Mukhang maganda ang pagkaka-receive sa kanya. Kasi Jollibee Chicken Joy is already doesn't need any marketing uh, marketing needs. Wala na siyang kailangan. Di na niya na, it markets itself. Pero, di ba, napansin niya rin, no? Nilabas ni Jollibee yung sweet and spicy chicken nila during the time na nagkakaroon sila ng issue regarding dun sa quality ng chicken nila na may, uh, may nag-send ng report na tuwalya yung nakuha niya. So, during those times, naglabas si Jollibee para tangkilikin ulit. Pero yun nga, nakita ni KFC na, oh, okay, pwede pala lagyan ng glaze na sweet and spicy. Pero let's try to put a twist on it. So instead of the dismantle, ibig sabihin din dismantle ni, ni, ano, no, ni KFC idea. So the, the idea of a glaze, how can we improve upon it more? What what uh what other things that we can we can include here? So naglagay sila, ng, labat, naglabas sila ng hindi matamis at hindi... Um, maanghang, naglabas sila ng more on the savory and uh, dairy kind of way, like garlic butter. And then, naglabas din sila na parang yang nyom ata. May yang nyom chicken din ata sila, something like that. Korean-inspired naman. So, uh, it is still sweet and spicy, pero with a uh, Korean taste. So, the dismantle and nagkaroon sila ng product improvement. So, that's one thing. Uh, redesigning or getting ideas from your competitors. So lastly, you also have research base. So organize efforts to increase scientific knowledge or product innovation. So um, uh, this is what we call R&D, research and development. So, so research and development, naman, this is one of the most common ways we design our products. So hindi naman siya one of the most common ways, no? pero... Yeah, no, no, slash that. Yes, it is one of the most common ways talaga. Lalo na uh, uh, um, as a startup, no, as a starting um as a starting as a starting uh business, it is important that we conduct R&D or research and development uh processes in our products para at the end pag tayo ay nagkaroon ng isang um magandang magandang standard recipe making consistent yung quality. So, research and, research and development, ayan, pwede siyang basic research, objective of advancing the state of knowledge or um, applied commercial applications and development. Converts the result of applied research into useful commercial develop, uh, applications. So, everything dito sa research base is pinag-aaralan mo. You, 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 para siyang continuous effort or continuous struggle to learn. Um, ang tawag dito? Meron tayong tayo, trial and error. Yun. Yun yung hinahanap kong word. Trial and error tayo dito sa research space. Uh, so that's it. Um, that's it for uh, design ideas. no? So dito pinag-usapan natin yung uh, key questions. Kung ano yung mga um, common questions na tinatanong natin in order to, in, before we design our product service or operation. Uh, next is the reasons why we do uh, redesign. So we have economic, social, demographic, and everything else. And then uh, main sources of ID, of design ideas. Actually, um, as a starting business or kayo, no, as future operations managers, pwede niyong paghaluhaluin lahat. It doesn't really mean that pag nang supply chain based 
pag paggaling yung idea mo sa supply chain mo, doon ka lang, hanggang doon lang. Actually, no. Pwede mong pag, paghalu-haluin lahat. You can conduct, you can you can get all of your ideas from these um, sources of design ideas. Pwede kayong, yeah, oh, pwede kayong kumuha. And in fact, it is, I think it is, it is much more useful if you will um, combine all of your data or all of your gathered ideas uh, from supply chain, from competitor, and research. Right, next. Aha. Uh -huh. Dito. We'll try to discuss this just for a few minutes. Um, it's not really that useful no pero ang pinaka ano nung talaga ito kasi ang ang nakalagay naman dito is these are the other factors that you have to consider when designing products so dito kasi nakalagay na dito sa ating unang discussion yung mga factors na kino-consider natin when designing a product pero dito these are other forms so marami meron pa pala tayong ibang mga i-consider na na uh, factors pag tayo ay nagde-design ng ating mga product and service. So let's begin. Legal and ethical considerations. Sorry, legal and e legal and ethical considerations. Um mostly is it is it is uh it is um the uh, designers focus na dapat of course walang mangyayari na kahit anong legal implications or uh, balik sa kanila na lawsuits or demand. One thing that I can give an example dito kasi di ba ito mga examples niya like say for example automobile, automobile pollution standards and safety features such as seat belts, airbags, safety glass and energy absorbing bumpers and frames have had a substantial impact on automotive design. So ibig sabihin niya um, yung mga safety features na seat belts, airbags and safety glass and everything else it is malaki yung impact niya sa, auto, sa design ng mga sasakyan. Aside from that, yung mga toy designs, ayan, ni-remove yung mga sharp edges and small, piece, small pieces that can cause choking and toxic materials. One thing na pwede ko ibigay din dito, no, real life to, nangyari siya. I believe sa US to nangyari. Um, dati, yung mga, yung mga to-go cups na mga may init na kape, Diba, may, ano na yun, um, ang to-go cups is usually paper cup siya na parang may uh, may cardboard sa dulo para protektahan ka from the heat, no? para hindi direct mo hinahawakan. And then may lid sa taas where you can sip. Dati, ang design talaga ng mga coffee cups na yun, wala doon nakalagay na caution hat. Kasi at dati, hindi naman talaga siya, I mean, it is a common is common sense no na mainit naman na talaga yung ano mainit naman talaga yung iniinom mo so you have to be very careful pero it came to a point kasi na may isang babae uminom siya ng kape sa McDonald's i believe order siya ng hot coffee ininom niya and then hindi niya kasi alam na masobrang init yung kape kaya nasunog yung ano niya nasunog yung dila niya and she filed a lawsuit sa McDonald's and you know what she won. She nanalo siya doon sa pagdemanda niya yun. Ang, ang argument niya is wala naman kasi yung naka-indicate na mainit. So, hindi niya alam. Or parang ininom na lang niya bigla. Kasi wala naman doon naka-indicate na mainit yung ininom niyang kape. Uh, kaya, uh, ang ginawa niya, nagdemanda siya kasi nga damages sa ano yun, sa bibig niya yun. Sa, sa, sa dila. And ever since that moment, lahat ng mga establishments, mapapansin nyo, doon sa mga to-go cups nila, lagi na nakalagay na may caution hot. Kasi in that way, hindi na babalik sa kanila, hindi na sila madademanda. When, uh, when it happened again na masusunog yung dila ng ilito. Kasi nagbabala na sila. So yun. That's one uh redesign na ginawa nila doon sa kanilang packaging para doon sa legal and ethical considerations. Uh product liability um it's more on um assuring that your product and service will work. One thing pa ito gusto kong i-consider then is one of the most important factors to consider cultural factors 
mapapansin niyo si Jollibee sa lahat ng bansa. It's, they're going worldwide, Jollibee. And mapapansin niyo sa lahat ng uh, mga bansa nila, meron silang mga ino-offer na items na wala naman talaga dito sa, sa Philippines. Like say, for example, I believe sa Jollibee sa US, somewhere in US, nag-offer sila ng fried ng chicken joy sandwich. Mga, mga uh, filet ng chicken joy and then naka-sandwich siya. They also offer uh, adobo rice. May nakita ko na nag-offer ng adobo rice sa isang Jollibee. So, you know there's 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 yeah, there are some cultural factors na ano na uh, kinoconsider ng mga uh, international franchises na they have to adapt the needs and wants of their market so bawalit naman tayo sa market how important the market is um let's say for example yun yan no since sa ibang bansa sikat yung mga fried chicken sandwiches nila are they jollibee abroad offered fried chicken sandwich tapos may kita mo uh, sa ibang bansa din uh, sumisikat yung um, pag yung plain rice ka nila hindi na kasi ano yun parang puchu-puchu lang yung plain rice nila they want their rice to be exciting na may lasa pa rin kaya nag-offer like, sila ng adobo rice um, para dun sa mga gusto ng strong taste sa kanila mga rice so yun uh, we, pag international franchise talaga you also have to consider the uh, cultures and traditions of that country and in you you try to incorporate it into your products and services uh so and other examples ng uh, country menu items uh yan teriyaki pag sa Japan and then uh, makikita niyo uh ano pa ba dito uh sorry okay si this one uh France and croc mcdo uh toasted ham and cheese sandwich so Nag-adapt yung McDonald's sa ato, sa um, sa food culture ng France. Uh, gumawa sila ng ham and cheese um, sandwich and, tight, and name it Croc McDonald's. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, next. And three R's. Um, so aside from... Aside from culture... <coughs> Sorry, aside from cultural factors, product liability and legal and ethical considerations, we also consider environmental factors or sustainability. Uh, so, meron dyan, um, we, 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 we try to identify the design of our products as they will be sustainable in the future. So, meron tayo mga iba't ibang um, assessments or um things that things to measure or or tools that can help us measure the sustainability of our products so first is the cradle to grave assessment uh, actually to put it short etong una is based kung gaano siya ka useful while we are using the product it is the usefulness it, it is the um, impact of a product or service throughout its useful life. Ano yung kanyang impact sa society? Ano yung kanyang impact sa atin um, habang siya ay nagagamit pa natin or useful? Next is end of life. Ano yung impact niya sa atin after magamit natin or after niya maging useful sa atin? And then lastly is the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. So this primarily reduces value analysis. Um, refers to the examination of the function of parts uh, and materials in an effort to reduce the cost and or improve the performance of a product. So, we we analyze the value of our products. Tignan natin, gaano nga ba kayus, ano nga ba ang value ng, ang, ano natin, ang cost ng ating product. Uh, how can we improve upon the cost? Paano natin papababaan yan? Maybe there are some factors na whether I think you consider like say for example you guys are you guys are a sandwich um sandwich specialty shop so um nung una kayo ay gumagamit ng ano lang naman na example lang nung una kayo ay gumagamit ng gardenia sa inyong mga tirapay and then you you analyze the value of your products and said na baka masyadong mahal kung gardenia yung gagamitin natin 
baka pwede tayong mag, mag-bake ng sarili natin or baka pwede tayong bumili na lang ng Pinoy Tasty na ano na uh, loaf bread. So, you analyze the value of your product or your cost para we try to, you know, reduce the cost. Next is remanufacturing. Um, this one is most likely used in in technology or technological designs kasi sila yung mas may pakinabang si, sa remanufacturing. No? So, simply put, before throwing out your old worn out defective components, you try to salvage uh those useful uh useful components and you know using it for newer uh products and then next is recycling so and simply means recovering materials for future use and is sometimes considered as an important consideration for designers no? so why recycle uh so yun um yun yung mga iba pang factors na consider natin aside from the factors that is presented here, uh, these are other factors that we no consider. Natin. We consider legal and ethical considerations, if the product is liable, um, adapting to the cultures and traditions of the place that you are in, and the sustainable sustainability. Um, last, ha, uh, last na, and we'll try to uh, make this quick as possible actually for this uh for this one siguro we will focus on this design consideration uh, actually that this this uh module pala is familiarizing the faces faces in product design and development and design considerations um we already included we already talked about many factors to consider and I guess that is enough uh, considerations for everyone. You can still uh, read this part of the module base if if you want. No, There are just, there are useful parts here in this module to uh, further increase your knowledge kung ano pa nga ba yung mga pwede natin i-consider when designing our products and services. Pero, this is the most important thing that I have to I have to uh, um, discuss uh, the strategies for products and or service life stages. Um, ito basically ang life stage ng lahat ng produkto at serbisyo na gagawin ninyo in the future pag kayo ay magbebenta na pag kayo ay magkakaroon ng businesses of your own. In each product or service there is an introduction, there is a growth, there is a maturity, and there is a decline. So, ano nga ba yung, uh, bis- ano nga ba yung life cycle na to? Ano nga ba yung product or service life cycle na ito? In every, in every product or service, it will start in introduction. When the product or service is introduced, potential buyers may suspect the price will drop after the introductory period. So it is important to have a reasonable forecast, etc., etc. Basically, in introduction, um, you you try to introduce your product your product to the market. So, uh, ito yung early stages ng product or service ninyo. And uh, basically, um, it is I, I for me ha for me. Introduction is one of the um, easiest part of the stage. Because, of course, you are an introduction. Eh, diba? you, you are introducing your product. So there's a lot of all of the impressions. Um, hindi pa, you, you're, you're still trying to, ano, to build up impression. Hindi ka pa nagbibigay talaga ng pinaka-impression sa nila. You're just uh, trying to build up or ine-excite mo sila doon sa product natin. And the more excited our market is, the more the chances that they would avail our product during the introduction stage of our product. So, ito yung parang isa sa mga madalino kasi for sure naman maraming bibili sa iyo during the introduction period of your uh, of your ano, of your of your uh product. Um pero yun nga, you have to live up 
dun sa hype na ginawa mo. So if you if you hype your market too much na na about about your product, you have to live up with it. So just make sure that you, you have the capacity to do so, di ba? Yung, yung kaya mo nga na i-deliver yung demand ng market mo. Next is growth. Um, so growth naman, syempre after introduction, there's a chance that um, napansin ko ah, during the pandemic, di ba? There are many, many, many pop-up business na ang, nasasimula lang sila. During the introduction phase lang. During the time na uh, sobrang hinipe nila yung business and maraming bumili sa nila. Pero, hindi na nag-continue. Ano ang nangyari? Uh, bakit bakit maraming business na uh, hindi na nag-continue doon sa kanilang mga produkto? So, there are many factors to consider. Kasi nga, di ba, sinabi natin, pinaka-importante talaga ang market. Dapat alam mo kung paano gumagalaw ang market mo. Dapat alam mo kung ano ang kalakaran, ano yung competition doon sa market mo. So if if before you ano, before you executed your your business, ko pinag mo yon, there's a high chance that you will still exist after introduction. And that is growth na. That is where growth comes in. Once na na way past the introduction period ka na na, na nagkaroon na ng mga first impression ng iyong mga guests, you have now um time to improve your design na halaga over time design improvements and increasing demand yield higher reliability and lower cost leading the growth in demand so it is important to obtain accurate projections projections of the demand growth rate and how long that will persist and then to ensure that increasing demand coincides with the capacity increase so it is yun talaga eh, no hindi ka makakapunta doon sa growth stage ng product mo unless you plan everything um, ng maayos. Dapat uh, as much as possible, no, naisip mo na is the, is the demand really for this product growing? Um, ang gano'ng katagal yung growth niya and hanggang kailan uh, ganito ang demand for that specific um, product. So, um, you have to improve your designs, you have to, yun nga, no, yung sources ng design ideas natin. Um, pag naging successful lang iyong business, and you have to uh, redesign or nasa growth stage ka na, kukuha ka ngayon ng mga customer feedbacks, kukuha ka ng ideas sa mga employees mo, how to, be, how to operate better, or how to um, further improve your, your, uh, your product compet competition titingnan mo ngayon yung galaw ng competition no ngayon na ikaw ay part na ng industry or part na ng competition paano sila sagot sa existence mo and research based uh, pag-aaralan mo titingnan mo yung um you will you will you will uh, have trial and errors or research and development uh, methods in order to redesign or improve upon your design so sa growth growth area yon and then magkakaroon ng maturity. Ito yung parang pinaka-peak ng ano natin ng ating uh, product or service. Dito pinaka-mataas yung demand and dito um dito wala kang masyadong kailangan uh, palitan na mga changes kasi uh, nasa peak nga ito para sa pinaka-mataas na stage na. Kasi sa doon sa growth na ginawa mo since you planned everything Nagkaroon ngayon ng maturity, yun. napunta ngayon sa maturity stage yung iyong, yung iyong product. Now comes the hard part, the decline. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in every business po talaga, meron yan, introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. And here, in the decline phase, this is the most crucial part. Kasi dito, um, dito mataas yung chance if you will really stop the business na completely or try to uh, try to improve or introduce another product. So, yun. Uh, dito nakasalalay kung mabubuhay pa ba or mamamatay na yung business mo. Pero it doesn't really mean, no, na pag nasa decline stage na agad-agad, bibitawan mo na. Uh, pwede ka pa rin naman uh, mag-introduce ng mga pro- ibang products or pwede mong like say for example maybe 
uh, include something new for for your for your market no pero pwede ka rin naman pwede mo rin naman na sige siguro wala talagang growth dito sa product and service na to why not try another product or service why not try um, another thing besides from dun sa kasi nakita natin eh okay this product siguro hindi talaga siya masyadong mabenta sa mga tao so maybe we can try to ano we can try to change our product and look for a better market. Baka mamaya, kaya siguro tayo napunta kagad sa decline stage kasi hindi natin napag-aralan ng maayos yung market natin. So maybe this time around, uh, we can uh, observe the market or we can look for a new and better market. So, yun. Uh, simply put, yun, yun yung life stages ng isang product or service. Um, Siguro is sa mga pwede kong examples na bigay dito is the life cycle of the air fryer. Ayan. Isa sa mga pinaka-controversial and pinaka, um, let's say, na-overhype na product, ang air fryer. No? Sipin nyo during the first few months ng air fryer, napaka-mahal ng product na ito umaabot ng libo, umaabot ng tens of thousands of pesos yung isang pirasong air fryer na yun. And then it was hyped by everyone na pwede kang, na pwede kang kasi pangalan pa lang, eh, air fryer, pwede kang magprito sa hangin lang na wala kang nilalagay na mantika. So, how? Diba? How? Pero as time goes by, napansin ng mga tao, air fryer, napakamahal. Yun pala, mahal din gamitin. Mahal kasi sa kuryente, mataas ang kuryente niya. Ang ang what, ang uh, gamit niya sa kuryente. Um, and then mapapansin mo na kung titira mo pala lang mabuti, air fryer is just like a broiler or turbo broiler. Ang pinagkaibalan nila, air fryer is more mobile mas magaan siya, mas kaya mong buhat-buhatan kung saan-saan, at mas madaling linisin compared sa turbo broiler. So, yun lang pala. So, na-overhype siya in some ways. I mean, it is still useful. It is still reliable. Um, pag gusto mo ng healthy dish, pwede-pwede mo gamitin yun. Pero you, it is something that you don't use every day. So, during, it, during, during the air fryer's introduction stage, um, hindi nag-grow unti-unti yung market niya. Ang nangyara sa kanya, nag-grow siya ng boom isang bagsakan. Um, from from the introduction from the introduction phase, nag-boom bigla yung ano, nag-boom bigla yung demand, yung 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 uh, demand ng air fryers. So itong mga manufacturers ng air fryers para maka-cope up sila doon sa ganong klaseng demand, nag-release sila ng nag-release ng manufacturer sila ng nag-manufacture ng napakaraming air fryers pa kasi nakikita nila na the demand is just growing. It keeps on growing. It keeps on skyrocketing. Ang dami ng bumabili ng air fryers. Kaya sige, manufacture kayo, mag-manufacture kayo para ma-meet natin yung demand na yan. Pero, di na di na na na, di na, na, na na pag-aralan na hanggang dun lang pala yung growth ng market na yun. Hanggang dun lang yung boom niya. So, at the top of the uh, life cycle of the air fryers, during the maturity stage na, napansin ngayon ng mga tao na it is something uh, useful in the kitchen, pero you will not use it every day. You will still always go back to the gas ranges or dun sa mga gas stoves natin. It's much more reliable, um, um, mas efficient, mas effective, at mas mura. Mas mura talaga siya. Kasi walang kuryente, gas lang ang kailangan mo. So, uh, yun. It is... Ano nangyari ngayon? Ang dami na lang ginawang supply for air fryers na sa declining stage na sila ngayon wherein they now sell air fryers for as much low as as low as 2500 I believe or 3000 
ang pinaka-latest na nakikita ko. Dati na nakikita ko bentahan niyan, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000. mura na nakita ko ata dati is 8 or 7,000. Ngayon, mapapansin mo, binibenta na lang nila ng 3,000. Kasi nga, bumaba na yung demand eh. Pero ang taas pa rin ang supply nila. Kaya ngayon, they have to sell those products. Kasi syempre, mas maganda nga naman na ibenta na lang ng mas mura kasi walang bumili. Uh, kung same pa rin ang price. So yun, that is uh, one, and that, is, that is an example of a life stage of a product. Um, so it is, it, this just only shows how important this statement is. The main forces that initiate design or redesign are market opportunities and threats. Markets and opportunities and threats po talaga is sa mundo ng ating business, especially here in tourism and hospitality. Uh, market opportunities and threats po talaga. Ang pinakakilangan tuuna ng pansin. One of the first, uh, first thing that you have to study if you are planning to create your own business or if you are planning to, uh, to design your product. Kano nga ba yung gusto ng market natin? And um, paano gagalaw yung market natin as the time goes by? Will it grow or bababa lang ba? Um, gaano kabilis yung growth ng market natin? Uh, competition, gaano ka-healthy yung competition? Gaano kadali pasukin yung business and so on and so forth? Pero at the end of the day, market pa rin po talaga ang pinaka-importante when designing our products or service. So, um, that's it really for this discussion. Uh, medyo mahaba na rin ata and I hope na meron kayo natutunan kahit pa paano sa ating discussion for, for, for this video. So, that's it. Um, take care everyone. Stay safe and God bless you always. Bye-bye.